my name is Christina Peake. I was the artist awarded the Tony Contemporary Digital Commission for Black Artists. And I wanted to try and, as silly as it sounds, I wanted to connect from me to you to try and share a little bit about of how I came to this point um, and the work hopefully that you're going to be seeing soon and some of um, what is in what is in progress now on the site on the website I since the 1980s I've been traveling to Margate since I was a baby and my mum saw Margate as this um, this surrogate space for Barbados which is where my maternal family's from um, that sand, that sand was everything and I've, <laughs> I've got some actually to do work with that when I go on my walks on Margate, on Botany Beach and different places that I've captured that's going to be in the commission actually, it's going to be in some of the sculptures but it became this surrogate space where it was home from home, you know I'm not saying that, you know, we suddenly became, you know, residents of Margate but it became a place that we would travel to, we were always, like commuting to different coastal spaces so I think across most of the southern coast of England and around up to Margate from there to, to St Ives actually um, I visited at one point in my life all along our sea coastline um, and it's astonishing I think to think of say a Caribbean community in that context as a kind of migrating coastal community finding different places trying to find home in, in different spots and linking that out to um, your home of origin and I think for this for this commission I'm creating a series of sculptures that essentially form a an installation or a, a sculpture park if you like in a digital space trying to show well, I think sharing and sharing the journeys that I've had between Margate and the Caribbean and London um, and also sharing all of those anecdotes and stories and the idiosyncrasies that that create that that sense of belonging. And I followed this journey today um, when I visited. When I visited Margate in August of this year, I saw the People Demka Collective um, exhibition there as well as the other exhibitions I was showing. And I was blown away. I really was because I think for the first time visiting Margate, um, I thought, wow, you know, you really felt kind of... It's not necessarily even... It's the idea of being included. It's more the case of being represented, I guess, in some kind of way, which I'd never ever, you know, seen when I was visiting. It was always, although I've come up so many times, as I said, I'm not a resident there, but yet, you know, for someone that has seen that coastline change so much over the last, what, close to 40 years, um, it was a different space and it was a different gallery. And, um, and it was everyone standing there taking that moment and those eight minutes that related to the film when they um relating to George Floyd. And I just I was looking around, I was like, Whoa, maybe maybe there's a chance that someone that someone's actually I don't know, maybe actually be interested. Maybe I'd have a chance if I applied for something here, maybe I'd have a chance. Because I think things are ch things are changing and people are standing here in solidarity with one another in community and in communion with one another and I was just really blown away by that whole experience so when I then did see the opportunity I applied for it and now I'm creating these sculptures that speak specifically of, of my engagement with with Margate with the stories coming from the Caribbean of looking and querying the multiple ecological perspectives that I've grown up with so from beaches you know stunningly clear and I cannot say that enough like looking through like a beautiful kind of turquoise perspex through the ocean to see coral to see fish that actually now are quite a lot you know about maybe like 40 50 percent of that have been bleached but it's still is still there we still have a lot of young corals in Barbados that are grown back but I think that 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 colour and that sensibility, that palette, that marine identity, that marine cultural identity, and then linking that with somewhere like Margate, again another intense kind of coastal identity where you know from the seaweed, from the sand, the day trippers, everything. I think it's 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 linking all those stories together. It's linking that that experience of pleasure and play and 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 home and home from home with 
with new narratives of what that means in terms of like say identity what that means as, as different things and different people are increasingly represented and shown i mean we've been seeing that over the whole of 2020 i think what it means when your trash is somebody else's treasure um what it means when skincare is something that is a natural embodiment of someone's of someone's spirituality and community um without necessarily the branding on it what it means when um what it means when you actually identify and feel that you have a sense of belonging that you are valued within society and can stand there and you're entitled to um immerse yourself and for your creative outputs to also reflect and show that sense of of belonging and home um and to raise so many of the other questions that we're looking at so when we look at the ecological questions that are facing us when we look at like things like climate change um and these different ch challenges narrative stories that are coming at us our new stories our stories of the f our stories of the future really how we're going to how we're going to engage those um and as part of this commission um separate to the sculptures that i'm creating as a as this narrative i'm also creating or have outlined an engagement program where we're encouraging members of the margate community to go out on walks to reconnect with 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 themselves and with the places where where they are where they come from where they're based for me personally during 2020 and during lockdown the places that i thought i knew that were every day that i pass every day i've i've rediscovered them i've re i've reimagined what they are and what i am to them i've me i've, I've reimagined and changed the territories and the boundaries of where i play where i walk where my family resides where we engage where we interact and i've reinvested myself in my local community in my local environments and now i'm actively trying to to contribute to their well-being i guess you know so when you, when you do go on these walks and we're going to have somewhere where you can where you can actually submit your your photographs your films your um uh your writing your poetry your notes on a conversation um the things that you've collected and foraged which i always love that i use a lot of materials that i go out and i collect it when i'm walking in my work and you can share that with us and that i'd like to hear all these stories i'm fascinated by stories so i want to hear your stories i want to see how if it's possible for me to incorporate these as well and we have some great people that have already volunteered and will be doing these walks and to be sharing them with you and i guess i'm just i'm really fascinated and really in awe of the local culture of margate i've met some astonishing people um, and i'm continuing to meet them i think ian dickey um who was at the margate museum passed away lately he gave me an astonishing um rendition of of the history of margate um sarah trillo was amazing amazing um ecological um based artist and we've and we've been talking about so many different things about how work has just been an inspiration um i've been speaking with say victoria people them collective and again i'm just blown away by the agency the activism the immersion on in creative and um creative ideas and philosophical concepts and all these different kind of ways that ideas of community and and our environments and our journeys through them and narratives and stories are being reimagined and reorientated and i just think there just seems to be something really quite otherworldly about margate that i'm learning about and um i would say that when you see the work here or if you have ways in which you'd like to contribute please do get in touch i really welcome that i always welcome people's stories but um also i really look forward to sharing with you what i'm going to create um and i hope that i hope that it's received the way it's intended which is with which is with care um solidarity and a deep deep respect for such a stunning stunning um part of the uk and the community therein so um hopefully i'll see you or you may be in contact with me regarding the vault as part of our engagement program or participating um in one of two 
studio sessions that we will be holding so we can share our ideas and stories um, from these walks, from the work, from the different ideas and conceptions of what community is, what our environment is, um, how we engage with one another and also on a most basic level just to connect. Um, I'm very aware of a lot of the isolation and, and different ways in which people are impacted and have been feeling generally over this year, never mind as we go in, um, as we find ourselves in winter. So from one person um, to another, um, look after yourselves, take care and um, I hope to be and make contact and share with people, um, if not in person or maybe in emails or any other communication then via the work because that's definitely a part of myself that I um, that I hope that um, you welcome in sharing. So thank you and take care.